How did the systems engineering degree prepare you in your career? When speaking with a bunch of automotive CEOs, there's this big shift to EVs, and there's a lot of underlying consequences that come with that shift. The resources for EVs have to come from somewhere, and a lot of them are from these cobalt mines. Um, some of the largest stores of cobalt are under old growth forests in the, in the DRC. And in order to get those, are we just gonna wipe out all of the forests to get cobalt? So it's, it's a kind of tricky scenario there. And I think that I really credit systems in helping me to think of how do I construct my line of questioning for these CEOs and then how do I get to the underlying cause? And then part of it too is to kind of bring the CEOs together and come up with a comprehensive solution to not just like put a band-aid on certain issues, but rather address the underlying problem. And I think that's one of the things that systems has really prepared me for the most. It's being able to see and act on those things that resonate with the big picture. So rather than just being reactive, kind of addressing something at the source and creating a solution to that underlying problem. I keep going back thinking about um, Systems 5100, which David Snyder teaches. It is a very comprehensive class that kind of went through all different aspects of systems thinking that you could end up needing. And just kind of having that mindset, it really helps you to develop a whole comprehensive picture of what you're, what you're trying to solve for.